Station. Alright guys, it's Bounty2595 here and I'm back with another Call of Duty Black Ops commentary. Uh, now this commentary isn't so much about the gameplay, rather it's about the commentator showdown that took place this past weekend on Saturday. I believe at 6am Pacific Time, 10am Eastern Standard Time and 3pm GMT. Uh, just so you guys know, I will leave a load of relevant sort of links in the description below. But, um, but yeah, before I get into all that, uh, for those of you that are watching this gameplay, I'll say a few words about it. It's it's an old gameplay I had saved on my hard drive of a game of Domination on the map Zoo. And in this game I played sort of really defensively and uh, guarded both uh, B and particularly Adam. Uh, I find this map to be very easy, uh, especially so if you control these two points from the building overlooking both flags, which I sort of spend most of my time doing. The perks I'm running are Flat Jacket, Slight Hand Pro and Tactical Mass Pro and obviously I'm using the Famas, uh, my chosen attachment with this assault rifle is the Dual Mag and my chosen kill streaks are Blackbird, Chopper Gunner and I think Dogs but I don't manage to get them in this uh, in this gameplay and in the end I go on to get a score of 35 for 7 with 1 caption 10 defense so uh, but yeah enough about that, uh, let's move on to what I did want to discuss in this video which as I said earlier is the commentator showdown competition now for those of you that don't know the game 360 and Fear Crads came up with the idea and decided to organise an event in which the top Call of Duty commentators slash gamers would battle it out to see who was the best player on YouTube. Um, the tournament was sponsored by GameDunzo and Filmon.com and they put some prize money up for, up for grabs so first place got $1,500, second place $1,000 and third place $500. Uh, Woody's, gamer, Woody's Gamer Tag joined uh, the mix and set up the games to be hosted on Game Dunzo servers which are basically dedicated servers that host the game and from what I've heard they are the dog's bollocks. Uh, you can you can sort of picture it as like having three people in a lobby and one of the three players is the host for the other two uh, but in this case the host is uh, it's a bot which enables everyone in that lobby to have good connections. Um, but yeah like Fear Crowds who's I think he's from Nottinghamshire finished third in the competition and well, not only shows but it not only says a lot about the sort of caliber of the player he is but it also shows the effectiveness of the game done on servers now according to the point system if you finish first in the game you got one point if second then two points and sort of if 12 then 12 points and so on so you get the idea um, there are a total of 12 players throughout the tournament and at the end of all six free for all games which is what they played uh, players were ranked by lowest to high in terms of the point score, and so whoever reached, whoever received, sorry, the lowest score came first, and the highest scorer came last. So, for example, if you played six games and came first each time, then you would have a total of six points, and so you'd obviously win, win, and be the champion. Uh, the event was live streamed, and originally it was intended to be live streamed on Filmon.com, but <laughs> due to the size of our online community, they had quite a few technical difficulties, and so the stream was moved over after I think it was like 45 minutes or so to Justin.tv and Fuzzy Autoball's account on there. Uh, Fuzzy Autoball also did the commentary during the during the free for alls with Wings of Redemption. Um, now personally I don't play free for all but uh, one thing I do know is that the traffic patterns are a lot different from the game modes I usually play like Domination but one thing I do want to ask is like I'd, assuming if you've not then look, look, look at the links and have a, have a gander at our the videos but does this like does this competition sort of show who the best player is I mean I do reckon free for all is the best game mode to decide it because at the end of the day it's all about individuals gun skill but the competition didn't feature everyone who not only I but many others in the community think should have featured in it such as uh, who is it like um, NASA one and C-Nanas, Excal, Hutch, uh, Sam5000 um, and Socrates I mean that's just a few but but yeah, in fairness, uh, from what I have read on Twitter and watched on YouTube and things, many players were approached and asked to be involved in this, but either they had things on at the time which meant they couldn't participate or, I mean, I don't know, maybe they just, they just couldn't be asked doing it. Um, but yeah, uh, I do know that White Boy was supposed to be involved and I think he was live streaming the night before, uh, perhaps training, I mean, I don't know, but for some reason he didn't turn up, uh, I'm not sure why, maybe he overslept or... But yeah, um, but yeah, what do you guys think of the event? If uh, if you've if you've managed to see it, um, I mean, 
if you do have an opinion on this, then get it posted in the comments section below. Uh, I do think there is a skill to reading the traffic, but is it is it just a game of like spawns? Uh, by that I mean, was the lobby too large? Uh, I do know a few players after the game did say that it was a bit too hectic, but what do you guys reckon? You know, let me know. Um, but yeah, in all fairness though, the guys they did have on show are all mint players. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, they had the game 360, Fear Crads, and Buddy's Gamer Tag, along with the Maca J, Randy Savage, X Jaws, Ronaldinho, Holiday Doc, Muzza Fuzza, Onslaught, T Mart, and Syndicate. And I think the majority of the viewers had the top three guys predicted as being in the top five. Um, in my opinion, the strongest players within the pool, and in no particular order really, are Randy Savage, X Jaws, Ronaldinho, the Game 360, Fear Crads, and the Maca J. I mean, these are these sort of guys. These are pretty much known for the beast gameplays that they constantly like upload onto the channel. So, but as for the results, the Marco J finished first, the Game 360 second, and uh, as I'd already said, uh, Fearcrads finished third, Onslaught finished fourth, Randy Savage fifth, T Mart sixth, Ronaldinho seventh, Syndicate eighth, Holiday Doc ninth, X Jaws tenth, Woody eleventh, and Muzza Fuzza in last place in twelfth. The Marco J, the Game 360, and Fear Crowds, they were constantly and consistently like top, so definitely on the day they were the best. But there are a few things worth mentioning here. Um, firstly, X Jaws can only play for like two games, and so you had to take last place, which had like the 12 points for, for the remaining four free for alls. And, but even so, he still finished above people. Uh, goes to show, like, if if he'd been able to play all the games, I, I do reckon he would have probably finished, if not top three, then perhaps top five. Uh, another point was that Ronaldinho, who was another huge favourite, lagged out at like three or four games. Um, I, I can't remember exactly how, the exact number right now, but the games he did finish, he finished really strongly, so another one who would have definitely been a top contender for. Uh, He'd have definitely been a contender for top spot if he'd finished all his games. Um, Sandy Ravage, who he was my pick of the bunch, um, epic player. He uh, he said before the comp he hadn't played since March because he'd been doing his finals and and that uh, even that wasn't playing Black Ops. I think he was Modern Warfare too, so he, he he sort of admitted he was really rusty as opposed to like the rest of the competition who sort of play it quite quite frequently. Um, but not only that, he uh, I think he. I don't think he used the farm as much, if if at all. Uh, I think uh, I think he said it was it was boring. So, which sort of when playing competitively, it's a it's a must do to uh, to use farm as. Uh, but yeah, hopefully um, hopefully they decide to do uh, another tournament at some point like this in the future, and uh, hopefully they'll get the players um, that I mentioned before. Like, so it's the, it really is the best of of the players. Um, but yeah, I mean, I definitely look forward to, to seeing that, and I, I reckon that such an event would be a better indication as to who is the best player on YouTube. Um, but yeah, anyway, I better bring this video to a close now, and so uh, yeah, I'll finish up by saying that I hope you uh, you guys enjoyed the gameplay and commentary here. Uh, as I said in the past, I really appreciate it if you'd rate the video and feel free to, to post a comment or send me a message, and yeah, I really do value your feedback, and... I really do enjoy reading what you've got got to say, um, but yeah, that's uh, it's pretty much ending this, near the end of this gameplay now. So I'm just gonna sort of sign out of this, uh, and yeah, just look forward to the, the next Black Ops commentaries that I'm gonna have. I, I'm thinking of returning t to do a few more Black Ops commentaries and then probably rotate and then a few more Fifas finish that series that I started. So uh, so yeah, definitely watch this space, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck off now because I'm dying for a slash. So yeah, this was Menti2495, in a bitch. Hello again, um, I just realised I forgot something at the end. Yeah, uh, yeah. what I want to say is, I, uh, I assume you've noticed, but a few weeks ago now, I I sort of had a new YouTube background and um, an avatar and things. And uh, I said I'd do a bit of a shout out to one of my mates that did it. He's, he's called Kieran, it's Alien GFX, so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll leave the relevant... Uh, links in the description to his YouTube, uh, Twitter, and his Facebook. And yeah, I just wanted to say a, a massive thanks to to Kieran because he really did. I mean, if you look if you look at his work, it's so awesome, and it's such a talented kid. And I uh, I'd say to give him a bit of a shout out. I mean, it's the least I can do. So, so yeah, all, all I'm just gonna say now, um, because I I really am dying for this piss. Uh, all I'm gonna say is, yeah, cheers, Kieran, and uh, yeah, just 
anyone watching this, just go and check him out. Sub to his channel. I mean, you won't be disappointed in here. Just uh, follow me on Twitter and things. Uh, uh, yeah, that's it. I've really got to go in a bitch. Bye.